Now let's go up to the chairman's table where I'm not allowed and start the judgment. All right, so what I've done here is called a Barbados Blast. It's cinnamon spice and falernum, and then Barbados rum, Barbados overproof, bitters. I thought about adding bacon for another B word, but I thought the rum is probably enough. If it doesn't have bacon, it should have rum. <laughs> should I use bacon? Oh, that is strong. Yeah, full ounce of OFTD. It's definitely gonna taste strong. <laughs> That's a rum drink. You should market this. Ha. Well, maybe when I rebalanced the lime with the cinnamon syrup, I wasn't sure if those two would mix. I wouldn't have expected to go so nicely together, but they work beautifully. It's quite nice. Thank you, chef. Okay, so it wasn't exactly like that, but I was in a competition, so stick around and see. Today we're excited to do something we rarely get to do on this show, which is introduce an original cocktail from us. So back in mid-July, we attended the Secret Island Tiki Expo down in Long Beach, California. Along with there being live music performances, great vendors, and informative seminars, there was also the Amateur Bartenders Cocktail Competition. And I won! <laughs> Judges Adrian Eustachio, Trader Kelly from Trader Sam's, and Katie Klager Merrill from the Hula Girls would oversee the competition, which was done Iron Chef style, with a limited number of ingredients to select from, and then would be judged on balance and flavor, creativity, and presentation, with each competitor having only five minutes to finish their cocktail. So when I got a look at the palette that we had to work with, my eyes went straight to that OFTD, the cinnamon syrup, and the falernum. I figured this would be a great foundation on which to build a unified spice forward flavor and then theme the drink around Barbados with Barbados rums, Barbados syrups and liqueurs, and Trinidad bitters. Paired with the right citrus, this would hopefully be a well-rounded, balanced cocktail that I would call the Barbados Blast. So what we're going to do today is remake the cocktail exactly as it was done at the competition so you can see what the judges tasted and what they graciously deemed to be the winner, which consisted of lime, cinnamon syrup, falernum, Barbados rum, overproof Barbados rum, and bitters. And then afterwards, we're gonna try to elevate it a bit, as the kids say, and try to make it a bit more full-bodied and balanced. All right, let's start with that large citrus base of one and a half ounces of lime, a half ounce of cinnamon syrup. Now we start with those Barbados spices with a half ounce of falernum. Our main spirit, the Barbados rum, in this case using Mount Gay. And finally, for that blast, we're using three quarter ounce of Plantation OFTD, which is also partly Barbados. It's a blend. All right, let's toss this in the shaker. Toss in a couple cubes to chill it as we shake. Shake it for about 10 to 15 seconds to chill, dilute, and incorporate. Also, this sounds cool. Barbados-y. This is served in a Collins glass, the idea being that it will direct the aromas of all the spices up to the nose. Served over crushed ice. Let's drain this in. Gonna stick a little wheel on the side for a garnish. Stick a straw in. Now, at this point in the competition, I apparently didn't realize that I had run out of time. Am I done? I saw it more. You are, you are done. Really? Yeah. I should have given you 30 seconds. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But that was five minutes. All right. Clearly embarrassing, as I had one last thing I wanted to do, which was to finish the presentation. Now, even though I didn't get to do it on the day, I think it's okay if we add it now, which is completing the last piece of the Barbados puzzle, adding the Angostura bitters to float on top, both for aromatic and visual effect. It's okay. Trader Kelly actually told me later that it would have been a nice touch for me to add those bitters on top. But hey, I won anyway, so it worked out. So there it is, Barbados Blast 1.0. We're gonna set this one aside for now, since as we mentioned earlier, we've been toying around a little bit with rebalancing this drink. One and a half ounces of lime is a lot, so we thought maybe splitting it with grapefruit a little to give a bit more body would help. Also, adding just a bit more OFTD to give it more zing, and finally, putting in two dashes of bitters directly into the cocktail as well as the garnish to help that spice just a tad more. So there it is, the updated Barbados Blast. So now let's compare. We'll start with the original one from the competition. Oh yeah, you can really taste those Barbados spices all sort of working in the same direction. It packs a really big tartness with all that lime that's in there. The OFTD helps as well. 
Now let's try that rebalanced one. Oh yeah. In my opinion, I definitely think that the grapefruit really helps add a little bit more body to this drink. Definitely tastes a little bit more of that OFTD in there. So the zing really comes through the blast, if you will. So there you go, two slight variations on our original recipe, the Barbados Blast. I'd say if you want some more tartness, go with that original flavor with the more lime, but I do think the new one has a little bit more full body flavor and a bit more blast with the additional OFTD. So that's our show, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that like button and also let us know what you think of this recipe down in the comments below, it really helps. Also, if you wanna see the full competition, check it out over on Adrian's channel, Polynesian Pop. We'll also link to it after the show. Well, we'll see you next time with more interesting cocktail adventures. Until then, cheers. You didn't see anything. <laughs> what happens if I try both blasts at the same time? <laughs>